Hello everybody, my name is Andrew, and uh, today I will be playing Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. Let's start up a new game. I really haven't touched the other one, but... Um, oh. Yeah, let's just jump into it. Alright, so... Um, I have... I'm not going into this completely blind. I have actually played um, sexy hiking before, and I that is the game that Bennett Foddy was based off, uh, or that inspired Bennett Foddy. Now, um, I've also <clears throat> watched other playthroughs. Um, I am simply trying to see how long it takes me to give up, I suppose, or if I actually am able to get over it. Hopefully... Wow, okay. So, this is a lot more... My mouse uh, seems to be having... Okay, got this. My mouse seems to be having... There's no feeling more intense than starting over. Yep. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black, if you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it, if you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. So I've got to f figure out how to. Get, is it this? Uh, I've got to figure out how to how to get over this first tree. <laughs> I did not expect. I right. <gasps> did it. All right. So small deck trees. Um, yeah, I did. I did not expect it to be that difficult to carry right. the first. Thanks tree, for coming with me on this trip. Yeah. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry, I'll save your progress, always. Even your mistakes. Sorry, getting a little bit of slack into my, uh, my mouse so that I can actually not have it, um, or give it the full range of motion that I need to move this around uh, ooh. okay and um, yeah so like I was saying um, I'm not like completely unaware of this game I literally saw uh, saw it thought you know that would be something to maybe spend an afternoon playing I am not gonna be able to do this with my mouse uh, just, uh, thought, you know, it's not enjoyable, but, mm. look at that, look at that, oh, pro strats, come on, and, yep, and, can I get myself, anyway, um, so, oh, what I was, um, thinking is, you know, it's, it's a stupid game. Uh, like people get un oh, unnecessarily upset about it, and um, now I'm just gonna try and continue a continuous stream of thought while playing this game to see if it's really as bad as people say. And. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, 
a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. B-games no! are assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Yeah, so anyway, uh, like, uh, like the narrator was saying, I, uh, I, I played a little bit of sexy hiking. I could only get to the second level because of uh, just how how unpolished, like you said, it is. Um, this, on the other hand, like I feel like when I screw up, it's it's my screw up. It's like the mechanics are intentionally very alien. Uh, no, no, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So here is my. Uh, don't you dare! Don't you dare! Here is my go at the game thus far. Um, I, like I said, I have seen a couple of playthroughs of this game. This is. I'm. I'm not gonna. Oh God! I'm not gonna pretend. Like, this is, uh... <laughs> like, this is a new game, or like I'm, I'm doing a blind reaction to it, because, legitimately, like, it was all over the internet when it first came out. And, <sighs> come on. Oh! oh. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, so, apparently, it's not completely out of the question that uh, there feels like there is some uh, feelings of risk whenever you try and progress forward, so... In a certain way, Pro so striking is oh the my gosh, are you guys seeing that? Oh. It's built almost entirely out of bound and recycled no, parts. No, no. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Yeah, um, so, yeah, it, it, uh, you win. No? Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. Yeah, so, uh, I was gonna say, uh, you win some, you, you lose some because you, uh, you, yeah, that's right. You win some, you lose some, because uh, I was going... Really, really well, and then now I wasn't. So, um, but as you can see, I'm already... Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm already back to where I fell off of. So... I call that a win in my book. I'm just trying to straight this guy out. And one, and two, skiddly diddly do. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way no. to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree. A lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Uh. Oh. Oof, oh. sorry about that. Well, I guess for now, this is where I'm going to end the stream, or uh, end the video.
And uh, if if you guys want to see more, just let me know. Because honestly, uh, this isn't uh, like I just got this. So it's Christmas Day. I have a couple of other things to do, but uh, it's certainly not as bad as uh, it's not. It's not not terrible, and uh, I definitely would like to uh, do a little bit more. Alright guys, that's the end of this video for now. Oh. Have a good day.